rely on the opposition to score for them last time out at the county ground. There's a hat-trick of changes following the Derby defeat at Oxford, and that means recalls for Robinson, Davis and Hay. Pompey are a club in turmoil off the field. Nine backroom staff were axed in midweek, and Alan Ball's been forced to slash the wage bill by selling Robbie Pethick to Rovers, with perhaps more players to follow. But this is still an experienced lineup with a host of Swindon connections in the shape of McLaughlin, Whitbread and Simpson. It's Portsmouth then in a change kit of white who get the game underway. Swindon no doubt have revenge on their minds after that 5-2 defeat earlier on in the season. Still their heaviest reverse. Taking charge this afternoon, our referee Chris Foy who comes from St Helens. This is uh, Vlakos, the Greek international for Portsmouth. That was well intercepted though by Davis and uh, he's away from his man. Robinson struggling to get back. Cut back for Chris Hay! A wonderful save by the goalkeeper at full stretch. And Swindon very nearly had the perfect start. Barrett's got a bang in the face as he made that header. His team are in trouble now. This is Endar. Going all the way, George Endar. Oh, the keeper spilled it. Turned in by Chris Hay. Swindon lead by a goal to nil. And the Portsmouth goalkeeper has made a howler. It's Hay's second goal of the season. He's been going through a real lead spell, but he hasn't lost that poacher's instinct. Simpson aiming it far side to his opposite fullback Robinson. Touch on from Claridge. Easy for Talia. It's a prodigious clearance. Onura's after it. Clayton's in trouble once more. Play continues. The goalkeeper's flat out on the deck. The referee didn't blow initially, so he obviously thought the challenge from Onuro was a fair one. Well, Portsmouth are preparing a substitute. Nice touch by Onura, who went across to Flahaven as the goalkeeper is carried off. And it looks like it's going to be Russell Perrett. Number 13 on his back. I don't know whether he considers that a good or a bad omen. He's normally a central defender. He's going to have to take over in goal. Just to emphasise the point that uh, there was no foul committed by Onura in making the challenge. The referee is about to restart play with a, a drop ball. And Swindon decides not to do an Arsenal and give the opposition possession. First touch then for the sub goalkeeper. Clears his lines effectively. I would think the message to Swindon now is shoot on sight and let's see what he's like between the sticks. This is Hay. Chance to do just that. What a finish! No chance at all for the new keeper. 2 0 Swindon and 2 for Chris Hay. Poor old Russell Perrin has been on the field 30 seconds and now has to pick the ball out of the back of the net. Challenge to win it from Robinson. Oh, and Howe's presented it straight to Flourish. Great chance for Portsmouth. 2 1. And Bobby Howe commits an error similar to the one. Portsmouth fans celebrate a real lifeline. Steve Claridge making maximum use of his opportunity. And the score is 2 1. Swindon win it back. Anura is taken down, but play on, says the referee. Now hoping to do just that. This is Robinson. Onura, 3-1, Ify Onura with his 17th goal of the season rises 
to restore Swindon's two goal cushion. It was a pinpoint cross and a peach of a header which gave the goalkeeper no chance whatsoever. To the fourth minute of time added on now. Turned by Hay. Touch over by the keeper. Pat on the back from Endar. Simpson swings it in. Back across goal and somehow Swindon keep it out. Panic stations again in the home defence. And not for the first time this afternoon. They've looked all at sea defending corners. And they're really lucky to escape. Orford finds McLaughlin. He's onside. Whittingham! What a save by Talia! And it's forced home. And Portsmouth are back in the game. Desperately unlucky from the Swindon goalkeeper's point of view. It was a miracle stop at point blank range. But Claridge followed up to score. And it's 3 2. And it's back in the melting pot. And there's plenty of space in midfield. This is Whittingham into trouble there in the shape of Borrows. Here goes Perron. Away from Leach. Away from the second challenge. What a strike! It's 3-3! And it's Jeff Perron and Portsmouth have come back from the dead. The Swindon defence simply parted and he rifled it low into the corner. A sensational strike. Gooden is waiting for the troops to arrive from the back. One of them's Taylor. Hall's in there, up the line. May well have been McLaughlin who made the clearance, but Perrett was certainly beaten by the shot from Gareth Hall. And it was a last ditch save on the line by the former Swindon town player. still switching from end to end it's Hay now for Swindon deflected behind for a corner to the home side Be Robinson to try again Onura's there and Dar's there it's off the line again amazing twice in the space of five minutes Portsmouth have saved themselves at the very last possible moment on their own goal line. Swindon that close to a winning goal. I believe they got really what they deserved today. A shame and lucky not to have, uh, to have pinched all three. How's your goalkeeper? He's, he's apparently uh, in a mess and will have to be operated on all around his cheekbone, nose, teeth. Um, but that, that, those were the sort of reports I'm getting back from the hospital. Uh, real shame for him, he's just, just come back into the team after a long injury and what have you. So, uh, so it's not been a very good season for him unfortunately, but he'll, he'll, be, he'll be proud of the lads tonight. And we wish him well in his recovery, but uh, Jim Quinn won't be a happy man, 3-1 up at half time to let it slip. No, uh, they looked really dangerous, didn't they, going forward, Swindon? They created a lot of chances and uh, started the great game really brightly. Hay scoring a couple of goals. And then uh, conceded a sloppy goal before half-time. And 3-1, mm. uh, they still hoped to go on to win the game, but it didn't happen for them second half. Yeah, but playing games like that, exciting. Maybe they get the crowds back into the county ground. Perhaps, but you know, winning, winning is uh, the most important thing, and uh, especially when you're leading at half-time. And uh, he'll be bitterly disappointed that they didn't get the three points yesterday.